It's cool. Uh, it's do you believe the earth is flat? Or do I can't believe that Tate was so fragile here. He got like absolutely fing blasted. It, like his mind is destroyed right now. You know the vibe that I have right now? What's the vibe? I think that I can fix and ship you and Hassan. I don't <laughs> Absolutely. Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I It respect. looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the earth is round. Oh, really? <laughs> what a dumb... Epistemically, Tate is literally like, I know things are real because I've seen them. Unironically. But he would say that and think it's profound. You have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured correct. it out? Actually, I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah, I that's crazy. Okay, we, there, you don't have to. Hey, listen, you don't have to concede on that point. But I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, science. I and I thought, Andrew, do you believe the Earth is flat or round, spherical? I might watch this later tonight if we have time. We'll see. I thought Hassan hated debate, Russell debated Hassan. He'll debate anybody with more clout than him. I'm surprised he debated Andrew Tate, but apparently Tate is actually exceptionally f***ing stupid. Okay, I'm watching this real quick, okay? <clears throat> wow, that was uh, quite the conversation. How do you feel about my guy, Tommy? I, uh, sorry, are you asking me or the- Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Andrew. On yeah. my way tonight. Uh, he's, I don't know him son. personally. I have nothing against him personally. His, he lives in, the, he's a new age thinker. He lives in the new think, the idea that the way the world runs and has always run is a bad thing, and that if we change everything from the ground up, it's somehow going to become a magically better place. Obviously, he has no proof or any references for his way of like his way of thinking Hassel. because it's never been tested before. It's an untested theory. I think that him for him to come along and say such blanket statements that if we, if we changed all the world leaders to women, there wouldn't be war is is inane and asinine. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying because. He has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not a physical Less than than a man, and the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important, which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does, and I completely understand it. However, most people with a basic grasp of economics and the way societies work would look at society and say, you know what? A society with brave, strong men who are full of honor and duty is actually a better society than men who walk around saying, I have no duty to protect anybody or protect anything, and I can just sit around and cry all day. And, and, we're, and this theory is being tested in real time, right? America's quickly turning into the ladder, and we can see crime rates going through the roof. We can see all the fucking school shooting, all this stupid shit that's happening because men have no emotional control anymore. And that's what's going to happen. Is go the society's going to degrade, man. and the countries where men still stick to their honor and their, their age-old expected ways of, of acting... Are there going to be a safer societies overall? So time will prove me right, but I have nothing against a guy. He's, he's fine. I think uh, Andrew and the previous person that was on the call are just two sides of the same coin. Uh, they're both wrong, and they're both kind of right in different ways. But thinking that this has anything to do with gender is silly. All right? It has nothing to do with gender. Women can be just as oppressive and as brutal as men can be. Ultimately, Agreed. it has everything to do with capitalism, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the gender. Has slam, has slam, has slam, the assumption slam, that women are going to be like slam, hysterical slam, across slam, the board, that slam, kind of generalization, slam, slam. is just incorrect. And that's why, Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, yeah, as a matter of fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just oh, your personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. And yeah. when I say these, well, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. That's fine, and that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I but can say the world is, I can say the world is round and there'd be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's totally not fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences, and my experiences men are better drivers than women. I'm not saying there's no good female drivers, I'm not saying a female can't. No, 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 no. you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. There is a truth, and then there is your own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a, right? Or your own personal opinion backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect and, and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical, uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because we Let's all carry a bunch of personal up. biases. And when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We, do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, but listen, Which I is why it. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, no, no, listen. 
First oh, of, he should have finished that. Oh, fuck. That was a really, really, really good point. He should have finished it, but he didn't. I don't know why. Statistics. I'm sure you heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're derived. You can massage. Yeah, you can massage. Woman oh, face. No, no. Listen. First things first. There's lies. There's damn lies. And there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're derived. You you're can massage. Yeah, you can massage numbers, deriving, but you can derive. You're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life is the truth that you experience. Experience is an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truth. I live within my truth because either the truth I've experienced is an individual. If you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you come here and say the months. internet says X, especially your experiences after, can be real. You could be a statistical that? anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than that, I'm going to talk to you because I keep letting you talk and you're finishing your point and I'm trying to talk. So okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to. The, the oh my God, he's so triggered already. That you're going on the internet finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that garbage. You want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said X. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not. Real sciences, okay, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women is a statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're gonna look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences, then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right, we would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside of fucking caves. And now, as much as I love Liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical achievements, all the scientific achievements that we have reached. And at the heart of all of that, all of those accomplishments lies Five months an past. understanding of arriving at the truth through empirical evidence. Are you done? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. In my Fuck. I just realized what's... He, Hassan is going to shit on him, actually. I've heard different things back and forth about this conversation, um, about Hassan shits on Andrew Tate or Andrew Tate shits on Hassan, but I just realized that Hassan is going to shit on Andrew Tate in this conversation because Andrew Tate is actually far less intelligent than I thought. I don't think he's ever talked to somebody with a semi-coherent worldview, and even if Hassan's is barely strung together by a bunch of wokeisms, it's probably still more coherent than whatever insane f***ing that, well, I see things, so I know the real shit that Andrew Tate has. That's just a guess, though. I'm only... Who knows? I may, maybe I'll be totally wrong, but he already seems ultra triggered, and Hassan hasn't even challenged him that much yet. It doesn't seem like anything that challenge has even happened yet. But let's see what happens. My personal experiences, all the car crashes I've been involved in, all the times my car was hit, and all the negative experience I've had on the road, like women Spanish, were at fault. That is now you can sit here and say the insurance claims say that. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my <clears> personal experiences. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better drivers than men. Now you keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under so let me walk this. Let me walk you through this, right? Do you agree? Do you agree? <laughs> That's so condescending. Let me walk you through this. He's probably getting super triggered right now. The human beings have biases. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. But, but, but hey, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely, we're all biased. Okay, completely. Do you biased. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud. Not just your own personal judgment. Do you Thank think you our like biases might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. Absolutely, it's absolutely true. Okay, so if you if you agree with me on both of those accounts, look at he's like locked in, like trying to find a contradiction or something on his son's argument. <laughs> you understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information, is going to be clouded by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is precisely why we look at data rather than make arguments around our. Per Wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're just but this is precisely why we do that. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long, long in the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the I respect Tate, though, because he's a fast talker. <laughs> he does talk fast. Empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you, and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No. You're going to say, Dalmatians bite me for some reason, and I'm not comfortable around Dalmatians. That's called you. This is where, um, <clears throat> this is where that, there's a saying that I use sometimes um, that, that shows the problems of using heuristics. Is, um, and the saying is that a cat that touches a hot stove will never touch a hot stove again, but a cat will also never touch a cold stove again. 
the issue being that like if you have one or two bad experiences you might cut off a whole bunch of potentially positive experiences because you formed a bad heuristic so even if you argue that you can live life using heuristics those could be maladaptive at some point you're making um, bad choices or bad actions based on a bad pattern that you think you've perceived human nature okay. so i'm telling you my personal experiences and i don't care i understand your point empirical evidence Maybe says x women in this country can do yes. x i completely get that for second okay. it's also country because you're only talking about america because you're american and you don't see outside of the world that's fine i'm, I'm turkish well, actually i grew up in turkey that's um, not the point that's not the point i'm making the point i'm making is i'm <laughs> that's bad listen bro you're all you americans are the same i'm not american that was actually a very American thing for Andrew to say, which is funny because I think, isn't he from like England or whatever? Is to assume that every other person he's talking to is, is American, but. I'm uncomfortable with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining heavily or the parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. I know many women who do that. They're not offended <laughs> by my assumption. I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park, you park it. Loads, there's not a bad thing about it. Who gives a shit, right? It's not even a big deal. You've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe, you know, one of them will drive over to your house. It's cool. We've got better things to talk about. I don't think I, I, look, look, let's be real. I don't think I need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women, okay? However, I, I having said that, want. having said that, that was a funny implication. Having said that, you are failing to recognize. On looks, you could attack somebody like me with that. But that's why would you say that to somebody like Hassan? It's kind of funny because I assume Hassan would have gotten crushed in this conversation because Tay could like threaten his masculinity. <clears throat> but I don't actually know how fragile Hassan's masculinity is. Hassan has a lot of fragility in his life related to his fame, clout, money, all of that shit, audience, streaming. I don't know if Hassan has fragility about his masculinity, though. Whereas Tate, I feel like a lot of these ideologies sometimes can be wrapped up in a lot of male fragility. So it's kind of funny to watch him throw that, like, you're a virgin, at, like, Hassan. And it's like, bro, <laughs> come on, dude. Like, even if it was true, just, like, look at him. You can, that's not an insult that you can use. Guys, what I am trying to say. I walked I you through these steps slowly but surely. It, the, the thing is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great. It's Why true. is it great? He's also like, his son is just like, he, his son looks almost like autistically like, bro, I'm just trying to talk to you about this thing. And I just want to let you know, blah, blah, blah. And Tate's like, I don't I understand what you said. I'm trying to, I'm going to kick you. Like this guy's like losing. He's like, f like, f he's losing it too. <laughs> because <laughs> you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience, what if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never be able to arrive at a meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation if we're both operating on personal anecdotes and hypotheticals. That is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate. Good. So now you're saying the thing I just said. I have my own biases, my personal experiences, and I say them. Some people disagree and some people agree, and I don't care. You yes. now come along. But I you're still wrong, though, because I'm not operating no, no, no. on biases no. when I talk about women driving. I'm talking no, about the you, empirical you, evidence. You, I might have personally thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? We, 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 we went over the same point like five times. No, and no, I, think we're I know, but it's just, it's just weird because I can't like, I can't break through. Uh, this dude is like, now they're like both talking over him. And he's like trying to scream and get some fucking word. And he's so mad down here. Andrew's. Uh, wait, wait, watch, watch, watch. Watch, watch, when, he's, watch when this guy starts talking. Look at the evidence. He's like, no, we're not done. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk. Watch, watch him down here. Look at how mad he's getting. You realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else. You're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very we, 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 we went over the same point like five times. Yeah. And I, think we're I know, but it's just it's just weird because I can't like I, I can't break through uh, Andrew's. Uh, I, understand. I understand your point. You're saying the walls end of my here. Was, we're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk to her. He's saying, yeah, even, so. if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's, what he's That's not what I'm saying. asking you to do, my friend. I'm sure, you're, I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own <laughs> eyes, you don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Cool. If you believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years we've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that tells me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences. And you think I'm that not asking you, sound, you to ignore your own personal experiences. I'm simply asking you to look at the data so let's change the subject because you've just proven the point okay you andrew you do you believe yeah. well i didn't i didn't uh, you didn't really prove anything but it's cool uh, do you believe the earth is flat or do you <laughs> 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 
You didn't really prove anything, but that's cool. <laughs> I need to steal that. Actually, oh my god, I think I just learned a debate tactic from Hassan. Instead of saying, okay, I'm gonna start saying, that's cool, and then move on to the next thing. That's a sick fucking... That's a sick fucking debate tactic. That's cool. Do you believe the Earth is is spherical? <clears throat> Round? Two years. All these headphones right. on. Yeah, oh, he, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. Power. It's important. You know, sometimes you can't take the heat. Sometimes you can't take the heat. So you gotta get Okay, it. hold on. How are you like an ultra manly, manly, manly man? And you're like, you're like stressed out and vaping and taking your headphones off in a, in a fucking internet debate. What's... Out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I It looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up? <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> it's like... Uh, Hassan is like the 85 IQ debater. But like versus like a 65 IQ debater where Azan is like, I'm going to get him with this example. And Azan is like, do you think the earth is round or not? But Tate is actually like, well, I know it's round because I go, I went up high enough to see it. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> up to the fucking moon? Is that how you figured it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah, that's crazy. Okay, we, you don't have to, hey, listen, you don't have to concede on that point, but I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, science. I saw him there, and I thought, wow, this guy, wow, okay, he's going to ruin the stream. We had a hot chick, now oh, you're did here. You, is that what you thought? Just, just, just chill out. Like, I don't little, wait, so what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like uh, the traditional like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult. As a professional, I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah, you, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like, I'm sure you can handle little old me. <laughs> exactly. So I'll tell you. Dude, this guy's getting fucking ultra mugged. He's getting so triggered right now. Holy shit. As a professional, the conversation we just had. I said, I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I'm That's told. not what I said. I said that over. regardless of my own personal biases some, that I might have, you, evidence is still more important than my personal biases. To center Hassan's arguments philosophically here more, what Hassan is saying is, <clears throat> Tate is saying, I have my own biases. And Hassan is saying, yes. And then Tate is saying, you have your own biases. And Hassan is saying, Hassan is saying yes. Hassan, he said this in the beginning, but I don't think he realized philosophically where, where, what he was actually getting at. What Hassan should have said is, independent of you or mine, minds biases we agree that there is a fact of the matter right like there is objectively a correct answer to the question who are better drivers men or women there is a there is an objective fact there an objective fact there independent of our own biases how do we figure out that fact how do we discover that fact philosophically that's where they're headed for hassan is more correct here than tate is or hassan is completely correct he just doesn't know how to verbalize it well but <clears throat> And it's boring, and you've lost, and it's boring. So let's just oh. move on to the next subject. Is that, is that, is that what happens? You just say, I'm boring, and I lost, and then you win? You is that what it is? Do a poll. Do a poll in the chat. If you won, then we'll continue to talk it. But I'm sure you've lost, and it's boring. I think that on the words, if we were reading a text of, like, both of this, I might say that the conversation is maybe even, but um, Tate is, like, so unhinged. He's so upset. He's, like, so mad. I wonder. I wonder if we missed something... I wonder if we missed something that happened earlier because he was so much more chill during the XQC conversation and he's like ultra ass mad right now. Okay. Do, you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately, Andrew? It seems like you're running away a little bit. Oh, we're still in a never ending circle. Like, we, okay, we yeah, we can move on from that. We can move on from the 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 importance of science and, and Andrew's cool. personal biases. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the Hustlers University, whatever that is? Not in a promotional capacity. I know that like you're doing the rounds on Twitch. I wonder if Tate has answered the question about like the Earth ship before. Like I wonder if Hassan has all this prepared ahead of time too. And I know that that's probably giving you a big boost, but I want to understand, you know, cause you are a businessman. I want to understand how you generate revenue. 
Uh, is it okay to get this information for free or do I have to pay $50 and then maybe get an affiliate link and get other people to also join so I can make a 10% cut off of them also <laughs> joining Hustlers University? You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information. That's fine. So you don't want to share this information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour you trying to what? accuse me of some bullshit. I'm not. It's, I'm not. I'm, I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant yeah, mind. Sure maybe I a little rattled. Talk. Maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more <laughs> about your business strategy if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of. No, people. I do oh, think it's very brave. I do think. Okay. I do think it's very brave. Oh, all right, so let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, no, no. Thing. You you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave. You still might have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. <laughs> I, I I appreciate it. I mean, whatever. It's fine. Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is I <laughs> he know you just takes the hell out of it and moves on. <laughs> I sit here and talk about hate, hate you and try and break it down and you've prepared a bunch of <laughs> notes etc et i have no notes whatsoever i'm a dumbass i don't know anything I'm I, think he, I think he did have notes but this is talking about i'm simply here to learn from you no, can we stop with sarcastic shit and just have an no i'm literally but that's the truth <laughs> oh, you're being so sarcastic though like why? oh he's trying to stick up for his poor buddy he sees that like he sees that he's like fucking mogging the fuck out of his poor friend you're being so sarcastic like, i'm not i'm literally oh, oh, come, like, come, come on come on come on come on come on i'm asking questions boring. Hassan, yeah, like, listen, Hassan, listen. please. It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan. So yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, sure. if you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be. I, I don't want to be rude. I gotta get back to work. I I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I I hope that one day you can uh, educate me on your your revenue strategies. Uh, I okay, mean, it's, it's, it does look a little bad, though, if you're like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering you a little bit. <laughs> you should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. Well, is oh, no, that a bad no, question? Do you oh, not educate no. thousands you of young men about your business strategies? I want to know more. Okay, I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's begging for you to leave. The vibe's down. It's boring. It's it's late at night for me. I came here to have fun. You're being boring. No one thinks you're cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. No one thinks you're funny. I, you I don't think I'm cool, cool or intelligent. Wait. I just have questions, and you're not answering them for some reason. No, Why are we derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, I am not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you questions about your business strategy, which you, which you literally educate people on. I just want to know how you fucking, uh, how you do growth and revenue. I, why can't I be a hustler? I want to be a hustler like you. I want to be a top G, a top bloke, a proper bloke. Right. You can find out more on the website. I would like the stream to get fun again. If you want to discuss this. You don't think your educational content is fun for people to consume? I think everyone's saying kick him. Read the chat. Have you guys read the chat on your stream? You want me to, you want me to leave that bad? I, I'll, if you want me to leave that bad, I'll leave. You're just being, I mean, listen. It's like a weird, it's like, I'm not telling you to leave. It's like, oh, do you want me to leave? I'm not going to. No, I'm not saying I want you to leave. Okay. I want you to stay actually. Oh, okay. But everyone else wants you to leave. <laughs> just, I'm, just a, I'm just a messenger, but you're just kind of like being sarcastic. Making I'm not. Boring. I'm literally don't not. I promise. I swear to Allah that, that I want to know. I'm just saying, was it sarcastic? Don't even, you can't even convince me. None, none, none of what sarcastic. I have mentioned is sarcastic. I truly would like to know more. Was it 85% kick. 85%. No one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty. Your, your little comebacks, no Hold one's on. interested in them. I think this is uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Andrew, if you want, we can have a we can have a conversation again. It may be funny, but didn't he miss an opportunity to have a real conversation to prove Ted said he was wrong? I don't think that was the goal. I think he just wanted to mog him. I can't believe that... I can't believe that Tate was so fragile here. He got, like, absolutely fucking ass blasted. It, like, his mind is destroyed right now. I don't know what... I don't, I don't know if I missed, like, a lead-up or a setup to this or anything. You can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like, if, you, if you're brave enough, I guess. HU has, HU has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate, like everything else in the world. We have over 100,000 students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they wouldn't uh -huh. sign up. One of the most successful online educational platforms in history. Is it, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all on corporate.com. You can find out yourself. If you're too cheap to pay $50, then you're broken. Nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun, or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet because no one really gives a fuck and it's boring. So let's move on to some fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on corporate.com. Yeah. No, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was a truly a pyramid scheme it would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it uh in such terms but thank you all right whatever whatever you guys want to talk about i'm, I'm game you're welcome to affiliate anytime you like friend there's no problem yeah all right so well, let's move on because this dude is he's lame my friends let's all get right, this. yeah it's not, I, I appreciate you coming out we're gonna bring in another guest though all right peace boys not, have fun andrew i'm always out. open to talk to you my friend if you'd like yeah. to we'll have another conversation. Have thank you my friend have a good night
Holy that was bullshit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say. Damn. Okay, so Tate is actually super easy, and it gets rattled incredibly easy, but there's... <laughs> that was pretty disappointing. Jesus. I guess I shouldn't say disappointing. As much as I hate Hassan, probably want him to win over Tate. It was disappointing that it wasn't very entertaining. I thought we were going to see some fireworks instead of just, like, a tank rolling over some dude. Oh, Dan wanted to say something. Oh! Hello. What's up, King? What up, King? I don't know if we can call each other that. That feels like a I, black thing. Oh, sorry. Listen, I think I just, I felt something just now, this last half hour. And I think the chat felt it too. But you know, you know the vibe that I have right now? What's the vibe? I think that I can fix and ship you and Hassan. I don't <laughs> Absolutely not. No, you know what? You know why? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I think it's possible. You know, I, I think... You know what it comes down to? Okay, you just have to like recognize what Hassan is good at and where he's funny at and what he does really well. And I think you can see that stuff and just don't, you know, you I have can't hold my tongue too. when people say dumb shit. And that's you gotta, what you have, you do. You say you hold your tongue. You know, I you do. Absolutely you can do can't. It. I absolutely can't do that. Listen, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm just saying, like, I feel like, I feel like the foundations are still there. You know, I, I. Sometimes the best friendships, they go through these harsh periods of inactivity. I just, I feel like it could happen. You know, and Hassan's funny, you know? And he has that appeal and he has moved the... Uh, okay, did you come here for anything else or are we playing this movie? All right, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Too, too, much for, too much for right now. Okay, yeah. just, just keep it in the back of your mind. Andrew Tate, some new commission is 18. Right, you know, like, if you ever, once you're 18... If you want to get yourself a real man, I know a guy. You do? I do, yeah. I do know a guy. Who is it? What? It, it's, a, it's a long story. I can't tell you exactly who because there's bad, there's bad things no, about the fuck out of the room. Yo, there's no fucking way you just said that. No, no, no. I actually overheard that. The fact that you fucking said that shit is fucking crazy. That's fucked up. You were dead ass being a W fucking wingman. And the fact that you come in and say that shit is actually fucked up. Like, yo, go ahead. Bro, if, 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 if you want to go, if you want to go. 18 year old, that's weird. That is pretty weird. <laughs> this guy is so threatened. This guy is creepy, but this dude is like, he's actually like worried. <laughs> oh no. She's over here like, you know what? Maybe I will. Oh no. Because I know who you're talking about right now. You you said once you turn 18, you would fire out to fucking Romania and fuck her. That is weird. That is fucking weird. Because at least, listen, listen, listen. You messed it up. I'll take your bitch on your stream. You messed it up, my G. You can have my fucking you sloppy seconds, motherfucker. I, there's no way you're talking shit right now. I, I won't mess it up. All right, I'm fine. You know, like. <laughs> uh.